Greetings, family. This is Brother Ron. Today's date is August the 8th, 2024. It's Black August, August the 8th, 2024. It's a Thursday. I'm at the scene of a, of a crime. Somebody or somebody's have took it upon their person to knock down this historic marker that was in front of the Memphis National Cemetery off of Jackson. It's put up there by the good people of the city of Good Abode, Memphis, and our supporters, it's honoring the victims, the ancestors, the righteous ancestors of the Fort Pillow Massacre, 1864, 300 U.S. colored troops, white Union soldiers, and black women and children were massacred by the Confederate forces led by Nathan Bedford Forrest, the first Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan, prominent slave trader. They slaughtered people that tried to surrender to the Confederate forces at Fort Pillow back on April 12, 1864. In 2018, the We All Be Group Incorporated, my nonprofit 501c3, work with people within our community and throughout the nation throughout the nation to resurrect a monument something to remember these women children and brave men as well for their sacrifices we dedicated this marker raised three thousand dollars from the community dedicated this marker juneteenth 2018 we were just notified yesterday that somehow this marker, this historic marker, which honored the brave souls of the Fort Pillow Massacre, who many of their remains are buried in the Memphis National Cemetery since 1867, we were notified that somehow the marker fell down. Now this marker been up for six years through rain, sleet, snow, all type of weather disturbances. And to find out on August the 8th, or August the 7th, I found out, but to be here August the 8th, a little bit over six years after this market was dedicated, to see this emergency cone over the, the, the pole that held the marker is really BS. Because y'all, what y'all don't understand, a lot of y'all want to talk about Project 2025 and about them eliminate, eliminating critical race theory. They don't really teach no black history in school. I learned about the Four Pillow Massacre, spending hours on my grandmother's and grandfather's living room floor, reading through their 1970s world, world book, Black History Encyclopedia Special Edition. That's why I learned about the Four Pillow Massacre, about Megan Evers, about Emmett Till. I learned that outside the classroom. So your people are responsible for giving you knowledge yourself. That's the foundation of all your pursuits in life. School is not qualified to teach you knowledge yourself. They're qualified to teach you reading, writing, and arithmetic, and they've been failing at that. Y'all talking about they're gonna eliminate the Department of Education. Department of Education been around since 1979. You got people graduating from high schools today that can't read or write. They are functional illiterates. They can't do simple arithmetic. They don't know how to do no cursive. So what's the point? It's on the community to educate us about us. We've got to be for us and by us. And that's what we did. This is critical race theory. This is how you learn about who you are. It takes a village to help you achieve knowledge yourself. And for this to be torn down like this, and people say, oh, we don't know how it fell down. It's been up for six years. I know how it fell down. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. The devil is alive. Please stay tuned, people. This is far from over. It's 888 day. It's triple eight day. It's time to shift the paradigm and manifest some justice for just us. This is not over. Remember for a pillow. Remember the sacrifices of our righteous ancestors. Reparations are due. Explanation is due. And God don't like ugly. We all be in it to win it. This is your friend. Your comrade, your brother, brother Ron, sign it off. And I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. But don't tell me about no critical race theory. When this is critical right here, it is critical that we be active in controlling our narrative and reclaiming our narrative and counterpunching the BS to be continued. One love.